Concept 6 is out, Goose and I are going to walk you through the new features, tell you what we really like about Concept 6, and tell you some features that we wish it had. The biggest change in Concept 6 is to the gallery, and I'm so thankful for this because the gallery has been a point of frustration to me for many years. I never really liked the project-based way of working in the gallery, so I'm glad they're going to this new folders, subfolders way of managing drawings in the gallery. There's a couple really cool things that you can do. First of all, as long as you are not in the folders menu, you can drag and drop folders into other folders, essentially managing folders and subfolders. Or if you are in the folders category, then you can dr uh, drag and drop drawings between folders, which is really cool. Another cool thing is the pinch to zoom feature where you get, get, can actually control how many drawings that are being shown on screen in the gallery just by pinching in and out. I always, even though I use concepts a lot, I would get confused about the little objects clipboard importing thing that I had. So I'm glad that they made importing its own thing because now it's just easier for me to remember and to understand it's more intuitive. It wasn't very intuitive before. Now you can just click that import button and bring your media right into concepts, which is great. Right, Bird? Also, we have this little button right here up in the top right hand corner and that allows you to change your zoom and rotation and if you have something selected you can specifically change the size thing that's really helpful in terms of the ui is on the top left corner if you have it set up like i do are these little buttons here those three it gives you one place to turn on layers precisions and objects menus which is really nice when you just want to be able to quickly hide one of those menus without having to think about where to go to do that. It's all in one place. I really like how they've consolidated some of these things in the UI. Thing they added additional color systems. Now, I love Copic. I started out doing everything with rendering markers. It was it was prior to the iPad when I was in design school. So I, I just love that uh, idea of Copic colors and I know them, but they are, they can be limited. So I really appreciate that they added these two other color systems. The first is HSL, which stands for Hue Saturation Lightness. Then we have RGB, which you probably know, red, green, blue, which is the uh, colors of light and really great for working on digital workflows. Concepts 6 is great, and I appreciate these new features, but it's not a huge departure from Concepts 5, in my opinion. And there are some things, as they you know, continue to iterate and develop this, that I wish it had. And one thing that I've really been hoping for for a long time is the ability to just quickly create a straight line without having to do the 100% smoothness or turn on a guide. And all I, all I want, really, is maybe a keyboard modifier or something like the Quick Line and Procreate would be amazing. Just a quick way to draw a straight line. That's, that's all I'm asking. Even though I appreciate having that ability to change the dimensions of a select, selected object up in the upper right hand corner, I wish there were a, a way to make that a little bit more seamless. Do Having to do the two actions to change that dimension is a little bit tedious, especially when you're trying to just uh, draw to scale or do any kind of drafting using concepts. Having to go back into that box and then tap on the dimension and then type it in. Um, and just avoid that two-step process altogether. So not really sure how that gets implemented, but it was something I'd love to see. Definitely recommend checking out Concept 6 if you don't know about Concepts at all, or updating your Concepts 5 to Concept 6 in the App Store if you are already using Concepts. It is a great update and it'll definitely help your overall workflow when drawing and designing in Concepts.